Hello, this is Mike with Michael J. Turner Home Inspections, and today we're going to talk about wall to deck flashing. Now, I have three illustration or photographs noted above. The very first photograph I have is something I put together that shows a side view of how these materials ought to be installed. Now, why is wall to deck flashing important? Well, in 2015, the International Residential Code had required that deck flashing uh, be installed. This is to prevent water damage to the wood, to the sills, to the foundation, to the structure. It prevents corrosion at the connections where the fasteners are secured to the wood joists or joist hangers. We want to prevent deck collapse. Anytime moisture intrusion enters these areas, the likelihood or the possibility is there for rot. Once wood rots, it's going to collapse. Now this third photograph shows vinyl sodding, but it could be a different type of wall clattern such as hardy plank, which is made of composite fiber cement or no name brand. Now the first thing we want to do is install the bottom flashing. This is what a home inspector should be looking for. We want to make sure under the deck we should see metal flashing. On top of that we should see some type of house wrap, grace and water shield which is an ice barrier, or tar paper. The ledger board should be attached and secured to the wall studs and not the actual plywood. Now it will go through the plywood, but we want to make sure that we actually fasten these, fasten this ledger board to the wall stud. Then we want to see another Z flashing, and we, we call it Z because if you look at it from a side view, it looks like a Z. This is going to go up behind the, what we call a counter flashing, which is going to be the wall siding. It's going to go up behind there, lay on top of the ledger board, which is two by six usually, and then drop down. So we should be seeing some type of metal when we inspect in this. We also should have some type of joist hanger. Many times carpenters, deck installers will toe nail regular two and a half, three inch nails, maybe hot dip galvanized into this wood. Once these joist hangers is installed, every single hole should be filled with the proper fastener which is usually hot dip galvanized. Again, we want to make sure that we prevent any type of water damage from running down behind the wall and down to the sills, dripping back and wicking up underneath the wood. I want to thank you for watching this short video. Visit our website at turnerhomeinspection.com. Like us on Facebook or leave us a review on Google. Have a great day.